Hey guys, it's Cool Kids Wednesday, and I couldn't think of a cooler kid to hang out with today than Paige Tillman from Economic <laughs> Development. So we have a very busy show today, and we're talking to Paige about economic development. We're also talking about a business that's having a grand opening this weekend. Lots of stuff that's going on at the college. We're going to talk about why our set looks different, and I know who lost the polar bear plunge bet. So that's all the stuff we're going to get to today. But first... We're sitting with Paige. Thanks for coming in again. Thank you, Bruce. Great yeah. to be here. And we had a great time with you last time, so we thought we need to keep dragging you in. I love coming back. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So we have a lot of stuff that's going on, and it's a brand new year. So to celebrate the old year, you guys have done your report, right? Right. We met with the Economic Development Commission at their annual meeting in um, the end of December mm -hmm. and presented our annual report, which was very well received. And you can find that on our website. QAC.org, Economic Development. <clears throat> and at that meeting, uh, the Economic Development Commission appointed their new officers. So the Economic Development Commission is an 11 member board that's appointed by the county commissioners to advise them on economic development activity. Mm -hmm. And their, their chairman uh, this year will be Eric Hoffman. He's the general manager at Holiday Inn Express. Congratulations to Eric Hoffman yeah, then. Yep, we're yeah. really happy to have him on board. This is actually his second year. Okay. So he'll be he'll be guiding the activities um, of the commission. Okay. And we as a department do all the work. <laughs> that sounds right. That's how it goes. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> and then they have a vice chairman, and that would be um, uh, Bill Tumulty. And our treasurer is Royce Herman, and our secretary will be Helen Bennett. So the Economic Development Commission meets on the fourth Wednesday of the month, 9 a.m. At, at the Chesapeake Heritage Visitor Center. Mm -hmm. Those meetings are open to the public. Great. And our activities include a lot of uh, review of, of what we've done as a department through the month. So we have tourism, we have business development, we have expansions, we do marketing and branding. Ashley Cheneau, our tourism coordinator, she just finished her, um, her brochure for video. Okay. Which is very, very cool. And maybe we can talk to her about that in like two weeks, that right? That would be we're excellent. Going, we're going to drag her in excellent. here. Yeah, okay. That would be excellent. And then Jean Fabies, our business coordinator, any business in the county can call our office and Jean will come out and talk to them. We, we review their operations, the business operations and what they need to grow and we find resources. Right. So those are those are the things that are happening in our office. Right. It sounds like you guys are busy then, right? We are busy. We That's are good. busy. So uh, what's coming up for the Economic Development Commission is they will be hosting an annual, their second annual breakfast this year. You can't go wrong with breakfast. Yeah. It's always a good thing. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> this year it's going to be held on Friday, April the 20th, 830 to 10 at Chesapeake College. So we're really pleased to be there because this is a regional five county community college and it's based in Queen Anne's County. So we feel very fortunate to be able to use that facility and to have them be in the county. Right. And our, uh, we've identified a keynote speaker, um, <clears throat> president from Washington College has agreed to come down and talk to us about the liberal arts education in the workforce and why that's a value. Great. So we'll be sending out a save the date where we just wanted to let your um, Everyone who's watching know that this is an event that's coming up. All the cool kids need to know. All the cool kids <laughs> need to know. The Economic Development Commission will also be recognizing business performance, outstanding business performance. So we'll be highlighting a couple of businesses that have done an exceptional job this year. Great. And then you guys have a, there's another meeting coming up in February, right? Right. So we also work with all the towns. And of course, Centerville is our county seat and they're mm -hmm. our largest town in the county. And they'll be hosting a business reception on February 7th. That's a Wednesday, 630 at the Arts Center. And that's an informative meeting. And it's also a chance to come and network. Great. So we hope if you're a business in Centerville, you'll join us. Right. You can call the town office. Uh, our, our economic development manager there is Bill Badger. And the Main Street manager is Carol D'Agostino. She works very hard in getting people out. And, and um, so anyone, you can let any, any of those people know that you'd like to come. Great. And we'd love to see you there. Yeah, so if you're, and there's lots of business owners that watch us. I know that because they want us to come cover their business. Yeah. So I know you're watching. They better be there. They better be there. And if they're not, we're going to call you out on Cool Kids Live. And catch the words, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> the latest business. <laughs> 
Well, I'm so glad you stopped by. It's well, great to hear you. all the stuff that's going on because you guys are so busy. So it's nice to hear some, just a little bit of what you guys are getting done. Right. Well, we <laughs> want to send more representatives from our office to keep you updated. That's so right. we'll uh, we'll be here on a regular basis. That's good. Keep right. keep us on our toes. Okay. And very speaking good. Speaking of economic development, you'll love this. We're actually going to cut to a piece about a grand opening of Anchors and Oars. We do love this. Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we're going to cut to Anchors and Oars. We're hearing a special message from their owner about their grand opening that's happening this weekend. Hey, I'm Josh Davidson, owner of Anchors and Oars, a new store coming to Graysonville, Maryland. Uh, this Saturday, February 3rd at 12 o'clock until 7, we're going to be having a big opening party. We're going to have oysters being shucked and uh, smoke, rattle and roll barbecue truck is going to be there. Uh, we're going to have two live bands, uh, I think one from 1 to 3 and one from 4 to 6. And uh, it's going to be uh, great shopping for the whole family. Uh, we'll have a house full of vendors and great uh, home decor items and uh, we have a barn full of boat stuff and nautical home decor and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun and, and uh, shopping for everybody. We have a person coming uh, to do a paint, wine and paint night classes, sign up people. We're going to be trying to have something once a month uh, featured at our, our new store to make it a community event. So I uh, hope to see you there. Come out and we'll have lots of fun. the economic development part of the show. What did you guys think of our commercial? Did you really watch it? Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Did you really watch it? Part of it. Part of it. All right, what was going on in the background? It was green. No. It was no, Star it was Wars. Not. It was I Star knew Wars. you didn't watch it. You lie. It was Star lie. Wars. It was Star Wars. Star I, Wars. You went <laughs> Star Wars out. That's why I did. I knew you guys would appreciate it. I put if the Star Wars crawl. Always Star, Star Wars. Wars. But now I know. Now I know you guys are. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> so that was great. Uh, I got to meet Josh, who's the owner of Angers and Norris. He came in, did that piece. He was a lot of fun. He had a, he had a good time. So please go out to their event this Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. Live music, oysters, all that good oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Food. Love food. So, guys, Cool Kids Live. Do you like our new live. sign? I do. I love, I love it. it. And George played together for us today. I didn't even know he did it. Thanks, Bye -bye. George. Yeah, thanks, George. And also, you guys notice. There's a lot going on in the back. Yeah, I, was I don't wondering. know. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but our backgrounds change, and the wall looks kind of grayish, black, or, or like gunmetal or something. Well, I don't, if you remember what the official title is, there, uh, Mike or Ted, let me know. But we started putting carpet on the wall because we've started yes. our renovations for the studio. Ooh, nice. yeah, because this set's so boring. Big things to come. Big things to come. I don't want to see these. I don't, I don't it's just, I felt like we could do so much better. We want to go into the future. We want to be cool right, kids? kids. Yeah, we want to be cool kids. We, so we're going to have a brand new set coming soon. And by soon, I mean probably within the year because, let's face it, we're government. <laughs> so we're going to do the best we can to uh, build this brand new set that's really cool and fun to watch. And hopefully it'll make you want to just come and sit with us yeah. and enjoy the show from the other side. Are you on Facebook? I'm not. The iPad <laughs> is not connected to Wi-Fi. What's that? Oh, it's not? Well, I thought Hannah was going to be handling messages on Facebook. That's okay. It's okay. Wi-Fi is... can't figure out how to work Wi-Fi. is overrated anyway. So leave your messages. We'll, we'll get back to you if you have any messages or any questions about economic development or anchors and oars or anything else we're going to be talking about today. But before we get too much further, we made a special bet yeah. this weekend I think about Bruce the polar bear plunge. The truth. Now, you guys haven't seen the video. It, it's still coming out. But the bet was whoever didn't make it out the furthest had to tell their most embarrassing story yes. on the next live show. This is the next live show. It is because we plunged on Saturday. Yes. Now, I studied that tape. I think you probably photoshopped it or something. I'm not that probably talented. Is, didn't even look at it. No, I, oh, I definitely watched that. <laughs> People it was, that aren't even us. I tell you right now, no, no, it was hilarious. We did a good job, I think. I'm going to toot our own horn and say we did a great job at the polar bear plunge. I mean, we did rock it. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Even though it was so cold. It was not cold. <laughs> it was cold. Well, I was pretty No, the water was actually not too bad. No. But the wind and standing on the beach waiting yeah. to go in, was, that was brutal. It was cold, yeah. And we missed Brian. So a quick hello to Brian. Yeah, Sorry we couldn't find you. They kind of changed the way it was set up this year, right? It was, and there was a lot more people. I, it was so crazy. many it more was people. crazy. Which is great. So that's good for the plunge and yeah. good for the event that there were so many people. But we didn't get to meet or see all the people that we tried to. Because they didn't even let us on the beach till a half hour yeah, before. It, yeah, it was a lot going on. Yeah, so it was a little different. So we, we, we rolled with the punches. But anyway, 
That's enough about that. Let's get to the competition where we all ran out. And I want to announce that after studying the tape. We need to see the tape. I will I show so you too. it. <laughs> but Mandy, you lost. I, I was right next to you. Everyone else ran up underneath the guy. I hanged on to the guy. You Hannah, didn't say hug him. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> we went out further. You were you gave a high five about this far I away. I was right next to about you. About this far away. <laughs> I did not. Yes, you did. I promise. I will show you. You lost. I don't believe you it. You lost. And even if it was a tie, they all went underwater. I said, we were. I was like, birds are supposed to go underwater. And your comment was, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> because why, though? And I couldn't laugh any harder because like, well, that was the thing. And the next time you look, Hannah was gone. I was like, Hannah left. This is so anyway, uh, so you lost. I don't think. Embarrassing story. I mean, how embarrassing for me to tell you? I don't uh, the, really do a lot of The bet was things, the though. most embarrassing. I can't really say I have that many embarrassing things. Like, uh, I swear I will call your mother. <laughs> call Nancy. I'm get mom. I'm gonna get call Na Nancy. I'm gonna Nancy up in here. <laughs> cool Kids Live next week. Nancy's coming in to tell embarrassing <laughs> stories about Mandy. That's good. Hold that. I want to hear your story. Yeah. Call we're going to get Nancy in here. <laughs> that would be fun. All right. We're going to try to make that work. Okay, guys, so let's To get, be determined. Yeah, to be TBD. I'll show you the video. I'm going to prove to you that you lost, and then Nancy's coming in. All right, let's get to something that's really cool. Right? What you got in your hand? So, I mean, this is exciting. If Ted could roll, we got a shout out in the paper. So, this is so exciting. So, we just want to give a shout out to uh, Donna Harrington. She's a rental owner in Stevensville. And she writes, um, in the Bay Times, they have like where they, people say things about the county or what's going on. So she writes, uh, QAC TV staff produced more than 500 original videos and crossed the half million mark in media's minutes of video watched on social media. Communication um, with the public is key to promotion, tourism, and other aspects here in Queen Anne's County. So she was like giving us a shout out for Tell everybody That's what's awesome. going on. Yeah, it was awesome. It was five people to give out the, yeah, their so five. Yeah, we just want to give her, send her so some cool, cool kid yeah. love. Yeah, super cool kid love. Cool kid love, <laughs> right. And that also, but the only bad part is now that she's done that, now we have to like beat all those numbers. So this yeah. year, so 10, game on. 501 videos. Right. <laughs> we beat it by one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good thing we have this Cool Kids Live that's producing 56 shows this year. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Cool. So that yeah, but that is super cool. We really appreciate yeah, the love. Love and, everybody and, watching yeah. us. And Bay Times, good paper. Keep sending good messages about us out. Yes. We appreciate that. <laughs> what do you guys think of the weather? Uh, Not for you. No. Yeah, it's been cold all week. Ever since the plunge. If it's gonna be cold, it might as well snow. Yeah, yeah we need some snow. Hey, well, let's find out if we're gonna get snow. Uh, uh, we have a report from our weather person. Goldilocks has finally returned after her sabbatical. Finally, the Bears yeah. found her. Yeah, the Bears <laughs> found her. So we're going to take, can we roll to Goldilocks, see what she has uh, in store for us? It's too blustery. Horrible news. Horrible news. I'm going to find Goldilocks wherever she is. <laughs> she took Teddy Bear's place. She took you well, Teddy Bear. He didn't exactly do his job very well. Well. <laughs> In fact, I don't know. Have you even seen Ted Sets? <laughs> uh, I wonder if he's still outside. That'd be weird. Well, hopefully he's warm wherever Ted is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get him some hot chocolate or coffee. I think he likes coffee. Yeah. Oh, he does oh. like coffee. Get him a Starbucks gift card. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Feel bad for him. So thanks, Goldilocks, for your, for your weather report. We look forward to warmer uh, weather reports in the future. You know, uh, but... Two days from now is actually Groundhog's Day. We'll find out. Yeah, maybe we should we should just uh, the, the Groundhog whole, knows. Well, let's just hold Goldilocks up and see if she sees her shadow. <laughs> Hunks a Tony. Let's film that. <laughs> yes, we're filming that. That yes. is definitely happening. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. We got some other things to talk about. Most poorly, uh, Chesapeake College. You yep. have a lot going on there. We do actually. So this weekend we are doing Chesapeake College is hosting a Black History Month. So that'll be really cool. You can go there. It's 11.30 to 1, Saturday the 3rd. And so you can go, and it'll teach you a lot about the history, of, especially about the Eastern Shore. We have a lot of history based here. Right. Yeah. And we're going to do a piece on that tomorrow, right? We are. Yeah, so there'll be a full video coming out to promote that event, talk about the speaker they have, the event, and the times, and all that. So look forward to that tomorrow. We'll make sure that's out for you. Nice. What else you got going on? 
So I'm taking an improv class and Bruce thought it would be a good idea if we had him come in and do a little video about us. I'm going to audit the class. I'm oh going to take one class of improv. <laughs> I cannot wait. <laughs> I used to teach improv as I hit my mic. And Mike's probably mad at me that I hit my mic. I used to teach improv. And I'm really excited because I haven't done improv in a while. So I'm, I'm going to get on stage and have fun with you guys. And we're going to record the whole thing and show what life is like for a Chesapeake College student yeah, that'd be for fun. one class. Yeah. yeah. And we, are, we actually, we, we had talked with them, and they wanted to do a whole bunch of things. Okay. I haven't got a chance to talk to you about it, so I'm going to talk to you about it right now, live. All right, I'm excited to they, hear it. Apparently, they have a, uh, not a robot, but they have like one of the synthetic you know, beings that actually uh, gives birth. Yes. Oh, that's new. <laughs> yeah. That sounds scary. I can't wait. We're going to go and film it. Film a class where they teach, and we're going to show the robot. Not the robot. I keep saying robot. It's not a robot. So... You're going to give birth. Thing is I'm not giving birth. <laughs> I, I will not be giving birth. <laughs> the thing. You're going you're gonna to deliver the baby. <gasps> Dr. Grove. Yes. Medicine Yikes. man. Yeah, yeah. It sounds good. I'll do that. And we're going to do some other things. They have a welding program. They have a truck driver's program. They do you know, dual enrollment and they do continuing education. They have a lot going So we're going to start putting out lots of videos about Chesapeake College and all the great things they're doing. So that's exciting. I saw their video about the workouts. That's early. Six oh, yeah. Where, oh, where yeah. Hannah did the baseball? Yeah, yeah that'll yep. be coming out next week. Next week, the baseball players will be on. Yeah. They're all super excited. Yeah, Everyone yeah, keeps yeah it's great. Me. Yeah, we, if you're not on Instagram following us, you should go on Instagram and make sure you're following us because Hannah put up pictures from that event. Yeah. And we actually put up a video today on Instagram. So there's always different avenues for you to enjoy QAC TV Live. But yes, on Instagram, you put up the photos of yep. the early workout. Yep. And they've been great. They've liked it. I know they're excited. So yeah. that video is next week. Anything else exciting going on? I mean, no, it's going down. I'm going to be working out next week. That's <gasps> exciting. What? Yeah. Boxing. I'm going to box Bruce out. I'm going <laughs> to tune in. I got it. <laughs> you know what? We're going to make another bet. <laughs> <laughs> Please comment below yes. if you think I am going to knock Bruce out. Yep. I'm Knock. Like, I like how you even <laughs> gave the. Like, what are you? <laughs> it doesn't matter what it means. I'm on Mandy's side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to Take Mandy, you have two to yeah, one. I don't even know so what that you're means. You're going to lose. I'm start you out. <laughs> All right, yeah, so that's next week. That's Monday. Yeah, I can't wait. That'll that's be fun. That's going to be fun. Yeah. So we got that. So where are you doing that? Um, the New Leaf, the New, uh, new Leaf, right? Hmm? New Leaf Fitness. Yeah, Fitness behind Acme. Okay. Yeah. They have a boxing? They have all kinds of classes. We'll find out Monday. They have like boxing and um, like cardio and. They're they do like, yeah, they're intense. In a good way. That's exciting. In a good yeah, way. They're going to do a boxing demo. So that's so exciting. Cool. Yeah, it'll be cool. So that's all stuff to look forward to. It's going to be a nice, exciting week next week. I just want to uh, make sure we uh, nod to our sponsors this week from uh, Cyberdyne Systems and their new Skynet app. They're looking out for the future of tomorrow from the future of uh, yesterday. Yes. So that's great. Definitely. You guys download the app yet? No. No. Have you? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Well, Miles, I would like to call you out on that one. <laughs> no, no, no. Miles Dyson, the owner, contacted me, let me know that the app was coming out, so I downloaded it because I wanted to have it on my phone I before like everyone it. else. I love the app. What does right. it do? It's, it's all about connecting humans to uh, robots. So it's like the bridge towards becoming a cyborg. So you have a robot? No, I so want to become a robot. robot. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. They're going to, like, so if I ever lose my arm. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Anything? Nothing? That must if have to do with like Star Wars. That, so. <laughs> nothing to do with Star Wars. So thank you, Skynet, and we'll see you next time. Sailors! Sailors. <laughs>